Over the past decade, I, I think uh, the the subject that we have addressed that has um, stirred up probably the most controversy in our congregation and, and really as I think about the outward facing ministry of the Village Church, those who listen to podcasts or those who uh, watch the podcast every week, um, is this idea of racial harmony. Um, and so oftentimes what will happen is there, there'll be an accusation levels that we're getting political or um, that, man, you just need to preach the gospel. And if you'll preach the gospel, that will handle uh, racial harmony uh, or, or racial reconciliation or racial injustice. Or there's all sorts of terms that fly around. I like the phrase racial harmony. Uh, that's what the gospel's creating uh, is it's creating one uh, one people, uh, the people of God. Uh, and, and so the reason why I think this is such a big deal to emphasize uh, is you can really see it as the heartbeat of God throughout the word of God. Uh, and so if we go back to the covenants, if we go back to the promises of God to his people in the Old Testament, it all has to do uh, with not just the people of God, Israel, but also about the nations being invited in, the nations being brought in. And then what we see in the New Testament is Jesus really challenging the, the uh, Israel's kind of predominant homogenous worldview uh, by constantly using the Samaritans as the heroes in a story, uh, constantly eating uh, with, with those who are not of Israel. Uh, and then from there, uh, we see throughout the New Testament, um, the, the Apostle Paul in particular really saying, hey, this is an issue and he keeps leaning into it. Uh, and so he leans into it in Romans, he leans into it in Galatians, he leans into it in Ephesians, he leans into it in 1 Corinthians, that this is a theme this theme of multicultural racial harmony uh, is a theme that's really closely tied to the gospel. Uh, and so it is not the gospel, but it is so closely tied to it that it is an application of the gospel. And so we can't be a people who say, hey, it's only about the gospel, not the application of the gospel. We have to be a people that say, hey, the gospel pushes some things and the gospel reorients some things. And one of the things that the gospel reorients is how we see ethnicity uh, and how we seek to become the people people of God in a given location. Uh, and so I don't think that we can afford to punt on this issue in this day because it's uncomfortable, because it can lead to some controversy. I think we must preach the full counsel of God. And the full counsel of God says that multicultural, diverse ethnic congregations are what God is after in a picture of the kingdom of God here on earth. So let me encourage you. Um, that, that although you might find yourself in more meetings that you would want and answering more emails than you would want after you, you gently begin to lay before your people a vision of what the gospel creates among fallen men, uh, I would just encourage you to take the risk and, and help push the ball forward.